with a family member online with another player. It's just to have fun, man. If you're not having fun, then don't play the fucking game. Mm. You know? <clears throat> but I had fun playing these games, but I wish I could play them again because I really did. Because I found, I found them enjoyable. I found them fun, you know? Kingdom Heart, this game, Kingdom Hearts, I found fun when I played it. I know I said I didn't, but, I mean, I don't now, but I did back then. Advanced Warfare, I'm getting into Call of Duty. I played Black Ops 4. Um, well, no, there's Advanced Warfare, is a, for, there's a PS4 version of that. I take that back. But some of these other games, like, um, um, <laughs> no. Fallout 3. <laughs> Fallout 3, how about that game, huh? I actually enjoyed this game. I, 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 it's ups, it upsets me that I can't play it. This game, oh my gosh, dude. I love this game. It was so fun. NASCAR 2011, which I got for Christmas, and I, I regretted that I I didn't play this as much as I wanted to, you know? Back then, I, I wasn't really into racing or NASCAR, but like... I kind of regret not playing it. I wanted to play it more. Now I, I fucking can't. Jim. Mm. <sighs> Prototype. I want to play this more too. You know? I wasn't into this game back then. But I want to now. People change. Ghosts. Which, I mean, actually, there is a PS4 version of that. But, I mean, I have to pay for the 4 version. I already have the 3 version. Why well, have to pay again for the 4 version, you know? Injustice. I I had to pay again for this. Which actually, hold on. Where is it? There it is. It's right there. Poop. I got it. Oh, dang. That's different. <laughs> that's a different case. Huh, look at that. But look, I had to pay for the PS4 version. When I already fucking have the PS3 version. Paying, I'm paying again for the same fucking game, just on a different platform. Ghosts. I had to pay for this game again. No, I, if I want to get Ghosts, I had to pay for it again. Even though I already had the 3 version. Pfft, it's so stupid. Prototype. I have the 3 version of that. I don't know if there's a 4 version. But you get my point. You know? And I'm not the only one with that. I'm not the only one going through that. You know? I'm not the only one that wants to play their old prior... Oh, dang. Their old, their old prior PS3 game. I'm not the only one that found them fun. You know? I'm not the one that... I'm not the only one that wants a Mac for PS5. Jim... If anything, I should be the boss of PlayStation. I should be the boss of PlayStation. Honestly, I, I probably would, would make better decisions than Jim, Jimmy. But anyway. $10, first part. Like, it's $70 for Rift Apart, like I just said in the beginning of this video. $10 for freaking... You know, ten dollars. You know, if you if you own if you get God of War Ragnarok for PS4 and you want the five version, you have to pay that ten extra dollars. You know, it's just like PS. You want to get God of War Ragnarok for the PS5 version, you have to pay seventy dollars. You know, from sixty. Backwards compatibility is crappy. You know, regarding PS3, two, or one, there's only PS4. I own the PS... I did own the PS3 version of GTA 5. Couldn't play it on P PS5. Because it's not backwards compatible. And I had to freaking repay. I had to pay again for GTA 5 for PS4. And I'm probably going to have to repay. I don't know if it's... The 5 version... Uh, PS5 version of, that, of GTA is going to be... Or GTA 5 is going to be free or not. But if it's not, I'm going to have to pay that freaking again... You know? But. It's whatever, Jim. 
It's whatever, fucking Jimmy. I had to plug my freaking jackass phone in. Break! My phone's at 3%. Give me a second, guys. Hold on. Uh, how do I plug this thing? This isn't even... Hold on. I'm hoping this thing doesn't shut off or right in the middle. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> What's that? It's still at 3. Okay, good. Three, still good. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Get see. <laughs> I had to plug my phone in ASAP. It's at three percent. There we go. Now just to plug it in. Hurry up, dude. Hurry up. There we go. Ah, yes, but you probably can't see me because of it's dark. Maybe not. Maybe you can. Oh, wait, I can light it up, can I? I'm confused. What is it? There we go. <clears throat> I don't know. What do I put my phone at? I'll put it right here for a second. Alright, maybe I can't. I mean, my throat is like hot right now or something. I don't know. <laughs> there we go. But anyway, little Jimmy. <laughs> but you know what I mean, Jim? I hope this video gets to Jim Ryan. You know, I hope he sees it, you know? Because it's just like... And I hope he understands. I, I hope you understand, Jim, if you see this. I hope you understand, you know, where I'm coming from. And, you know, just the... Our backwards compatibility, alright? You know? Or at least, if you are working on it, at least let us know. You know? Because I know, play, you know, play, don't, they don't care about backwards compatibility, but they're creating a competitor against Game Pass. You know? It's just like, what? It makes no sense. <laughs> so stupid, dude. So... F but, uh... Uh, you know where I'm coming from, Jim. You know where I'm coming from. I hope you do, anyway. But I, I hope you do something about it, backwards compatibility. I really do, you know? And it's just like... I got so excited when I heard the rumors when... Before the PS5 came out, you know, years before the... P, or I think about a year or two before it came out, I heard rumors saying, you know, the PS5 was going to be backwards compatible with 3 and 2 and 1. I was getting so excited. That, but, you know, I, I got so excited. Matter of fact... It was after I bought a PS5 when I found out that it wasn't going to be backwards compatible with 3, 2, 1. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. you got to be fucking kidding me right now. I was so upset, you know. I was like, I was so upset. I was so excited and so, like, just, I would get to play those games again. I was so excited. Only for Jim Ryan to let me down. <clears throat> Again. Jim. I don't even prove to you that I played PS2, 3, 4, and 5. Alright. Er, no, I have a 5 right, right there. I have PS4 games right there. And I'll prove to you I'll play PS... PS uh, and then I'll show you the PS3 games. Now, I don't have all my PS2 games anymore. I When I moved, they all kind of disappeared. I don't know what happened to them, but I got two games right here for proof. PS2. That's, uh, you guys can't really see it that well, but it's Tack in the Power of JoJo. As you can see, that's PS2, as you see on the, oops. You see on the bottom, PS. Oh my gosh, this jackass lighting! 
It says fire right there, it looks like, but it's not. Hold on. Hold on, maybe you guys can see it over here. See? PS2. PS2. It looks like a 5, but it's a 2. And I got this game, too. I got... Maybe this will surprise you, Jim, Jimmy Ryan. I got Jack and the original Jack and Daxter for PS2. But you can't play it because it's all scratched. And this is also scratched. You can't play that. But it wouldn't matter because I don't have a PS2 anyway, so... <laughs> Man, that's crazy. Tate Shoes been around for that long. Around for that long. And then Naughty Dog's been around for that long, too. But, as you can see, PS2. PS2. Both are PS2. PS2 games. This freaking lighting's terrible, dude. I wish I had better lighting somewhere. But, these are both PS2 games. So, I, I played PS2. Just show you my PS3 cases. Just show you my PS4 cases. <clears throat> and Cold War. I'll show you Cold War, which is a PS5 game because I have a 5. So I, I, I played PS2, 3, 4, and 5. I've been playing PlayStation for years. Right? So I'm a major fan. And I'm a dedicated fan. So, Jim, Jim Ryan. Jim Ryan, please, just please, do something about backwards compatibility. Make PS3, 2, and 1 backwards compatibility reality. Please do it, all right? Please, at least 2 and 1. Because I know the PS3 was hard to develop for because of its, um, because of the cell, whatever it's called, something cell. So at least do 2 and 1 if you can't do 3. But if you can do, if, if you can do 3, then do, you know, 3, 2, 1. So... Please, just please do it. I'm begging you. <laughs> that would be a dream. That would be a good Christmas gift. All right, for all PlayStation players, and, and, and a good New Year's gift too. That would just make my entire freaking. Oh man. That would make my entire. Six, seven years. Maybe all time, dude. Ugh. Just please. Alright, I'm begging you. Please make backwards compatibility thing natively. You know. <clears throat> and no, I'm... I, I'm, I'm a... I... I I like Xbox too. All right, and I, I, you know, I even, I'll even call out the bull crap right now. The dumb fucking Gucci freaking, the dumb jackass Gucci collaboration is dumb as fucking. It's so stupid. <laughs> like, it doesn't look any like. It doesn't look any different than the regular Series X. Like, it, it's ten thousand dollars. What the fuck do you get out of it? Like. A barely customized Series X with a barely customized fucking controller, with a <laughs> like what with like maybe a, a a year, maybe not even a year of like Ultimate or something, with a freaking nice suitcase apparently, like ten thousand dollars. Are you fucking kidding me? Like what kind of bullcrap is that, dude? Like good job, make it even harder for the consumer to grab one, like. You're barely freaking replen replenishing your freaking stock, and you're freaking giving out ten thousand dollars, giving out your Series X for ten thousand dollars. Wow, way to way to go to make your freaking consoles even more harder to get for the average freaking consumer. You know, it's just like a bunch of jackasses. And then you know, at least Sony, you know, at least Sony ordered like a a few. You know, like Boeing airplane, a few Boeing airplanes filled with PS fives. You know, to the UK. You know, at least they did that. You know, that makes more freaking sense. Dumb jackass Xbox Gucci collaboration. 
Like, what kind of bull crap is that, dude? <laughs> Dumb freaking collaboration. $10,000, dude. That's such bull crap. And then they sent one out, I believe. To, I don't even remember who. They sent one out to a YouTuber. I think it was Marcus. Market, Marquise Brownlee. They, Gucci sent him out one. For absolutely... Like, he didn't have to pay for anything. They just sent him out one. Showed it, showed it on his channel. And then Mother Trucker's $10,000. Like, and they just sent him one for absolutely free, I think. Gucci. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, everybody else had to pay 10000 They sent him one to Mar Marquise Brownlee for... Maybe for... for Supposedly free. Gucci. What a bunch of freaking bullcrap, dude. Fuck them. Dumb mother truckers. So stupid. You know? Some of these gaming companies are just so stupid. And then Nintendo with their dumb bullcrap freaking backwards compatibility start or launch. Because they're crap, you know. They for, they uh, decide to go into the backwards compatibility business and you know launch backwards compatible games from I think it was Nintendo 64 or something, or GameCube and a, I think a few other ones. And the launch was absolutely fucking terrible and you know as expected, you know. And um, you know was absolutely terrible, you know. Fifty dollars a fucking year for the crap. Like, are you kidding? Like, that's such a bull crap too. Like, what the fuck is Nintendo doing? What is Xbox and Gucci doing, dude? What is freaking PlayStation doing? Like, what, what? With Xbox and Gucci having their dumb jackass collaboration, ten thousand dollar with a barely fucking customized Xbox Series X and controller, to a PlayStation, their dumb freaking greediness and seventy dollars now for a freaking PlayStation game, pre PS Five game. $10 if you want to upgrade from the 4 to the 5 version. And their lack of backwards compatibility. Then you have Nintendo with their dumb backwards compatibility having a rocky start. As expected. And $50 fucking year crap. <laughs> like, what what the fuck is up with, you know? What is up with them, you know? It's just like, it, it seems like these companies are getting more and more fucking greedy, you know? It's just like, because Xbox selling their, ex, you know, having collaboration selling the crap for 10000 you have Nintendo, you know, for backwards compatibility, you know, near of, um, Switch Online is 50 so that went up too. And then you have Play, PlayStation, you know, upgrading their crap from 60 to 70 for a PS5 game, and if you want to upgrade from a 4 to a 5 game, it's 10 extra dollars. These gaming companies are becoming more and more greedy and more and more freaking greedy. <laughs> it's such freaking absolute bullcrap that needs to be called out. And I'm calling it the fuck out. You know? And then you have dumb jackass Activision and dumb jackass freaking two take two. Selling their dumb jackass crap for seventy dollars, even though they don't even have to fucking have to, right? If they price their, let me ask you this freaking question, right? If if Activision take two, the price their crap seventy dollars for absolute no reason, right? Sony can do the same exact fucking thing and give a bull crap excuse about it, right? If, they, if Activision and Take Two price their game seventy dollars and they don't even have to and there's no reason to, Sony can Sony did the same thing. Sony does can do the same fucking thing and give out whether you know they give out don't give out uh, don't give out you know a reason and they did and it's a bullcrap. They can give out a bullcrap reason because they have to give out a reason because they have to and they made up a fucking reason to give out to, to excuse. To, to, so they don't look bad. You know, but they fucking do anyway. You know,
know why? Because Activision and Take-Two aren't as big as PlayStation and Sony. That's freaking why. They're big, but they're not big as PlayStation. Because PlayStation, you know, the most sold Call of Duty game doesn't even come close to the most sold PlayStation. So, that's fucking why. Because PlayStation had to give out a reason. Because people were expecting a reason. When they gave out a fucking... PlayStation didn't want to get out a reason. Because if they didn't have to, they wouldn't. And they, get, they had to because people were expecting it. And they give out a reason. And it's an excuse because they had to get out a reason. They had to. <laughs> Because they didn't want to look like a-holes. That's probably... That's why. Probably. Right? Because, again, Activision and Take-Two did that. And they didn't give it any any fucking reason. Nothing. Right? Because they're not as big. <laughs> they just, you know... Let it come and go. Just pass. Hope, hope people won't, you know... Say anything. And people said stuff. But it wasn't... It wasn't enough for, you know, Activision or Take-Two to say anything. So, you know, it was for Sony, though. But it's an excuse. I think it is. So, I see where you're coming from, Jim. Jimmy Ryan. Little Jimmy Ryan. I see where you're coming from. Greedy. Little greedy. I see where you're coming from, dude. And I don't fucking like it. I don't. I, there's a bunch of other people, uh, a bunch of other people that don't like it either. I can tell you that I, I would be a much better fucking boss than him. Cause I ain't in it for the money. I'm in it to give people enjoyment. I would be in it to give people joy, and. I, and for people to have fun. Whether that game looks good. Whether that game looks not as good. Because the game doesn't look. Doesn't have to look amazing. You know. To, to, for you to be able to have fun. And enjoyment. So I wouldn't be in it. Ju- I wouldn't be in it for the money. You know. Somehow I would still have to make money. But I, w- I would bring it down to maybe. You know. 50 or 60 bucks. Probably 60. Because that's what it was before. Um, and. I would make backwards compatibility a thing I would I would have made a game pass old uh, competitor earlier you know preferably you know 2018 19 you know it's so stupid that you know Xbox it's so stupid that Xbox has to do all this stuff for Sony to actually do it. You know? You know what I mean? Like, PlayStation is finally bringing a Game Pass competitor, right? But putting that aside, they're creating a service, a three tier service that, you know, for PS Now, we're combining PS Now and PS Plus, right? Um, isn't that. Isn't it kind of sad that they did that because of Game Pass? Because they had to have Game Pass to do that? (laughs) It's being labeled a Game Pass competitor. Because it's supposed to be a Game Pass competitor. Because they're seeing the success of Game Pass. Uh, and Sean Lade, I'm calling you out too, dude. I'm calling your bullcrap out after you said, Oh, you, I don't think Game Pass is um, a sustainable service. Shut the frick up. It came out in 2017. You're saying that like a year ago? You're saying that a fucking year ago? Not even a year ago. You're not even, you didn't even say that a fucking year ago. I don't think Game Pass is a sustainable shirt. How stupid. I don't think the Game Pass is a a sustainable service. Saying that in 2020. At the end of 2020. Or mid-2020. Even though Game Pass came out in 17. Are you that dumb? Like. (laughs) Sean Lee. Like. What? (laughs) If it wasn't sustainable. 
it probably already would would have been gone by now. It probably would have been already done by now. It's been on for three, four years, probably 18, 19, 20. Three years. Now, no, four years. 2021, four years. And you're saying, oh, I don't think it's sustainable now. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, how, how freaking dumb do you have to be to say something like that? Like... Uh, like, I, 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 are you kidding me? Like, look at Mixer. That crap wasn't open for very long, I don't think, right? It didn't do so well, apparently, and, well, obviously not, because it got shut down, but, if Game Pass wasn't sustainable, it probably would have been shut down, you know, earlier than 2021. It's still ongoing, too, so, you know, it's, but it, I, I question its sustainability. Like, it's because of people like him is the reason why, you know. It's also people like Jim Ryan is the reason why, you know, there already is no, you know, service like Game Pass. Already. Because they don't, they, they're not smart enough to think of that crap. They're not... I don't want to say they're not experienced enough because they're experienced in that business, but they're not they're not smart enough. They're not smart enough to know the strategy, you know. Xbox has a strategy and a good strategy, you know. With Game Pass, with their services in general, they have a good strategy, you know. It's just like and, and game and Xbox is still planning on getting rid of gold and multiplayer is going to become free once you know uh, game pass has become sustainable uh, money wise once game pass becomes uh, sustainable money wise they're gonna get rid of gold and so multiplayer will be free let me uh, put my phone over here instead. There we go. That's oh, that's much better. But uh, multiplayer will be free. And if if PlayStation doesn't do anything, and multiplayer stays, you have to pay for multiplayer on PlayStation. Every fucking buddy is going to see that, and and they're gonna move that. Like, it. If 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 Xbox decides to make multiplayer one hundred percent free, which supposedly they are when they get rid of gold once game pass becomes sustainable once that happens playstation's effed if if playstation doesn't do anything like that they're effed they're effed everybody's gonna everybody's gonna be moving over there because who doesn't want free multiplayer now you know it's kind of ironic because due to the fact that xbox started with paid multiplayer and PlayStation started with free multiplayer, but now it's about to be switched. Now Xbox is about to have free multiplayer, and PlayStation is about to have paid multiplayer. Isn't that kind of ironic? But uh, like I said, if, if it really is, but uh, like I said, if if PlayStation doesn't do anything, it's they're effed. Players are going to be moving over to Xbox. And record numbers, probably. Because uh, who doesn't like free multiplayer? Even when I played the PS3 and I had full, full multiplayer. PS3 has full multiplayer. It's not an Irish right there, but. When when PS3. When PS3. PS3 is free multiplayer. And when I played PS3, I didn't have to pay for any fucking thing, dude. When I played it online. I played GTA online. Didn't have to pay for anything. Just load it to the game. Bam. Like, I loved it, dude. I got home. You know, I didn't even... I didn't... I went to school, you know, didn't really have a job. Got home. Could, you know, just could relax. You know, load in some GTA Online. Didn't have to pay anything, you know? Because I didn't have a... Which was helpful because I didn't have a job at the time. I do I do now. But I didn't have a job at the time. So it was helpful, helpful to come home and uh, be able to play uh, multiplayer games. You know, on, play online on them. For free, you know, <clears throat> and um, I heard that actually 
Uh, I heard free multiplayer costs Sony a lot of money, but I don't know how true that is. I think it's kind of bullcrap, because I heard I heard that that's bullcrap. <laughs> I heard that. Well, no, I take that back because the only thing really they had was PS Plus, really. I think, right? And maybe PS Now, but since multiplayer was free, and nobody, I some people didn't really get Plus PS Plus. Um, it, it costed Sony some money, but they implemented, um, they, they implemented, we had to pay, play online on PS4, they implement, implemented that on PS4 and 5, but, um, <clears throat> once Game Pass becomes sustainable, and multiplayer's free, once that happens, PlayStation's app, like, if they don't do anything, they're apps, they really are. Jim Ryan might just be killing PlayStation. I think he is. I think PlayStation's going down the freaking trash heap. Because of him. Because he has poor strategy. Because he's poor making poor making decisions. Because he's a poor fucking PlayStation boss. Sean Layden was better. Andrew House was better. <laughs> Honestly. Most specifically, Andrew House. I think Sean Layden's a jackass. <clears throat> Actually, no, I take that back. I take everything back where I said he would great, be a great boss. Because I heard rec cause recently he said that. Oh, he doesn't do he questions sustainability game pass. Bull crap, dude. Fuck you, dude. But anyway. <laughs> I don't want to start a feud. I said that by accident. But anyway. But anyway. Uh, Andrew House was the best. You know. In my opinion. Andrew House. Better than Sean Landon and Jim Ryan. I think, I think he should come back and replace Jim. Is what I think. You know. Because Andrew House is the one, I think. Yeah, Andrew House was the one... That uh, introduced the PS4. I believe. Andrew House was. And I love the PS4, dude. It was good. I love the PS4. I love the home menu. I love the design of it. You know? I, I wish that the PS5 would have kept the PS4 menu, but it made it faster. Like, you know what? You know? Like, SSD. Like, everything that's in the 5 now, they should have put, like... Like, basically what I mean is, like, keep everything in the 5, but make the dashboard the same as the 4. So everything is still sped up, you know? And kind of, like, make it look a little more modern a little bit. And you may be like, oh, you know, the dashboard 